I will describe his voice like a warm um, Spanish uh, or Latinian warm uh, color full of uh, <clears throat> red passion. <laughs> <laughs> such, an, such an amazing instrument. Um, it's so rich and chocolatey. Only the greatest ones are unique in the sense that you recognize them immediately when they open their mouths. Most singers you wouldn't so easily recognize. He is one of the very few who've really just reached the top and reached the hearts of the people. How would you describe your own voice? Well, you see it. I don't know. I mean, you can describe it. The only thing I can say is that I have this, this unbelievable passion for it all my life. Arguably the best known living male opera singer, Placido Domingo has performed almost 4,000 times on stage, including his celebrated Simon Bocanegra at London's Royal Opera House. He took opera mainstream, with Pavarotti and Carreras as one of the three tenors. But at 74, this tenor now sings baritone. What's it like to be a legend? I have to show you this scarf from the Met from the 80s that my father got me. <laughs> um, what's it like to be a living legend? Well, what can I tell you? What it means, uh, yeah, living legend, I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm, thanks, thanks, thanks heaven I'm living, you know, so, and, uh, and the legend, I mean, uh, if, it's, if it's by time, I am. The singer and conductor who once got an 80-minute standing ovation is at Covent Garden for the week. He's been rehearsing contestants taking part in Operalia. This is the finalist's hymn for the international opera talent competition he invented more than two decades ago. In 71, right here in this room, then we are now at the Opera House. I have an interview. And I said, I like one day to have a competition and I like to have a group of singers that we can teach. Because I started my career with my wife. We were very young and we went to Israel in an uh, opera company that it was just very small and bringing singers from all around the world, young singers and we work every day very hard and we can pass, you know. So what I have received from the old generations, then it continues and that is happening. It must be quite something to sing for Placido Domingo. Perhaps Operalia's finalists have gleaned they might just be in the company of a huge star who genuinely wants to bring on other talent. This is one of the most important things for me, to continue to create this generation of new singers year after year. And is that your legacy? This is the legacy, absolutely. He really made a revolution at the opera. I think in helping other colleagues, then that's not very normal. His generosity is, is, is very big, not only as a singer, as a human being. Domingo's been performing all his life to acclaim. Although successful as Nabucco, New York critics savaged Domingo's recent Hernani at the Met, describing his baritone voice as compromised, dull and unexciting. He's no longer playing romantic leads, roles he relished. I have done so many, by now 145, you know, they start to mature and so they are, they are ripe now, you know, I mean, and uh, sort of then I don't do it anymore, of course, because... Uh, they were roles, very tough roles, and you know, so you have, you change the repertoire. I'm singing now, uh, rather than singing uh, the, bari the tenor roles, I'm singing the baritone repertoire. You have faced criticism for this change, for some of these performances as a baritone. How do you take that? Well, uh, I, I don't pretend to be, you know, a born baritone, but I know that I give all 
what I have. And I sing with all my heart, with all my soul, trying to make a character, you know. And I think people that uh, has liked my voice, they just, uh, they just don't care if I have a more darker sound. And I think it's coming in some of the roles. It's coming little by little more, you know. And, uh, so in your and 70s, you're improving. Yeah, and the public, the public comes out of the theater happy. So renowned was Domingo, his opera films like Carmen were box office hits. He always said he'd retire from singing in time to leave his audiences wanting more. But when will that be? I don't How know. How can you tell? Ask them until when they, they want to hear me. But I, t I will know when I have to leave, you know. But you may sing forever. No. No. Definitely, this one doesn't work forever. No, it won't work. Conducting, it might, you know, until you have the strength, and I do it a lot. But the voice, the day that says no more, is no more, no.